Hey everyone, Andrew from Educate here, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Excel and the web service function to identify price differences between cryptocurrency exchanges, which is typically used for arbitrage trading. Now, because we're dealing with the sensitive topic of money, I want to stress that you're most likely not going to make any money from this, and I don't advise using this spreadsheet for arbitrage trading. This is purely an educational video about Microsoft Excel. So with that out of the way, let's have a look at how it all works. This is the spreadsheet that calculates price differences. At the top, we have a grid of exchanges and cryptocurrencies, which are API GET requests to an exchange, which returns the ticker data in a JSON format. This is the brains of the entire spreadsheet. Then on the left, we have the cheapest asking price from each exchange, and on the right, we have the most expensive buying price per exchange. And then the middle tells us if there's an arbitrage opportunity. In other words, any big price differences between exchanges that we can take advantage of. As you can see, between the minimum and maximum prices, there's really no difference. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this spreadsheet. So let's start by downloading the ticker data at the top by using the web service function in Excel. Web service was introduced in Excel 2013 and it retrieves data from a URL. So if you input a website into the URL parameter, you'll get back the HTML of a page. If you input an XML into the URL parameter, you'll get back an XML. So if I input a HTTP GET request from a cryptocurrency exchange like Binance, I receive a response with the ticker data. That is the symbol, bid price, bid quantity, ask price, and ask quantity. If I type this URL into my browser, I get the same result. Anyway, now that we have the ticker data from Binance, we have to extract the ask price as well as the bid price into individual cells here. So we'll kick off this formula with mid, which extracts text from the middle of a string. Now, if we follow the parameters in the pop-up label here, the text we want to extract is the JSON in cell C2, and we want it to start extracting text where the ask price is. Now we could manually count the number of characters until we get to the ask price and type that into the second parameter, but if the text length changes, then it's not going to work. So instead, we'll use the find function to locate the position number of ask price. The first parameter asks for the text delimiter, which is the ask price, and we want to find it within cell C2. And let's start the search at the first character. Then to close out the mid function, we have to specify the number of characters after it finds the text ask price. We want to return 10 characters because every cryptocurrency is pegged against Bitcoin and is always displayed as a decimal number followed by eight numbers after that decimal. In this example, Ethereum is worth 0.025 or 2.5% of a Bitcoin. And if we press enter, we see the formula doesn't give us quite what we want. And that's because the location of ask price still has one, two, three, eleven 11 characters after it to get to the actual price. So we'll add 11 onto the start num parameter in mid. And finally, we have to convert this to a number because right now it's currently stored as text. So let's wrap it around with a number value function and increase this to eight decimal points. Notice how we've hard-coded the number of characters to be 10. This will be a problem if our GET request returns 0.02 instead of 0.02 with six zeros after it, because we're going to end up grabbing six additional characters after that price. So let's update the last parameter, number of characters, to stop at the next piece of text, which might be a comma or double quote. Now this part's going to get a bit messy because we're going to write a find formula within a find formula within a find formula. So please bear with me here. We want to find the next character after ask price, which is a double quote here. So we'll replace 10 with a find function. And in the first parameter, we want to locate a double quote within C2. And this is where we write our second find function because we only want the double quote after it finds ask price. So here's our second find function. We want our formula to start looking after ask price within cell C2, starting at position one, 
plus the 11 characters after it finds ask price. Now this formula will give us the position of the double quote at the end of the price, which is position 88. Now we need to minus it by the position of the first double quote at the start of the price, which is the same formula as the second parameter, so we can just copy and paste that. And to tidy things up, we'll concatenate the URL and cryptocurrency acronym together here. All we have to do now is find the HTTP GET URLs from the two other exchanges and the acronyms of the cryptocurrencies we want to analyze. I'll leave links to the API documentation of 10 exchanges in the video description if you want to read up more. And I'll also leave a link to this workbook, which will have all the URLs in it anyway. Now each crypto exchange is going to be slightly different in the way it presents the price and quantity, meaning the text delimiter and length of the find function is going to vary between exchanges. For example, Binance represents sell price as ask price, OKEx represents it as ask, and Bitforex represents sell price as sell. So you'll need to update the formulas for each exchange. Now that we've got all the prices from our exchanges, we'll just use a min function to find the cheapest price an exchange will immediately sell the cryptocurrency to us at. Then we'll get the exchange name by using index, match, and offset. So we'll start with index, and the array we want to look up is C10 to E10. And since we only have one row of numbers, we'll just put in one. Then for column, we'll use match, and the lookup value we want is the minimum of that array inside the same array and zero for an exact match. So now we'll add offset and offset the rows by the record number here and leave column offset as zero. Now we need the buy price. So we'll copy these cells and replace the ask and sell price with the bid and buy price to see which exchange has the most expensive immediate buy price so we can sell it to them. And we'll also replace min with max. We'll then add a results column to see what the price difference is and a percentage difference And one more column to say, if there's a 10% price difference, there's a good opportunity. Otherwise, there's no arbitrage opportunity. If you want to refresh the prices, you can press Control Alt F9, which calculates all worksheets in all workbooks, regardless if they've changed since the last calculation. Or you can write a two line macro to download the prices periodically. I've set mine to every five seconds. And there you have it. You've now figured out how to use Excel and the web service function to identify price differences between cryptocurrency exchanges. If you like this video and would like to see more videos like this, hit the like button, get subscribed, and hope to catch you in the next one. See ya.